This guy stole a package from my car, and a different guy stole my package from a porch, and he's about to open it in his car. Hello. But what he doesn't realize is this is the fourth generation of a new and improved custom built bait package that is recording him on four phones and just released a pound of the world's finest glitter and he's about to discover the other five new surprises for this year. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't it a bit excessive to spend the last four years of your life trying to engineer the perfect revenge for porch pirates just because someone stole your package a few years ago and the police wouldn't do anything about it? And to that I say no. And I'ma keep doing it every Christmas until we can make a dent in the two million packages that are stolen from porches every year. Plus, it's become such a delightful engineering challenge for me to try and think of all the different ways that we can upgrade it each year. And so with that, this is Glitter Bomb 4.0. And that is the first of five major upgrades this year. The lid shoots off as soon as the package thief tries to open it. Our original design to pull this off was a flywheel that spun up at irresponsibly dangerous speeds. Then we lowered these wheels to make contact with the flywheel and they shared an axle with the gear, which then used a rack and pinion to launch the lid. But that was just way too over-engineered, even for my lofty over-engineering standards. So that's when we pivoted to a pneumatic system, but space is limited in the box. So we had to cut and designed these aluminum pressure and tanks with a little help from my friends at Proto Labs. They hooked me up and made six of these in like two days, which is why they're mine and your best friend for quick turnaround machine parts like this. So the tank is filled with air pressurized to 80 psi and it's nestled here in the base. And then with the top half on, this Hall effect sensor right here can sense a magnet attached to the lid. So when the lid is lifted, it triggers the air to rush into the pistons and the boxing gloves do the rest. And the second major improvement is this car horn. Cause that just feels like it's gonna make things more exciting for everyone. So when the lid first pops off, it actually sounds a little bit more like that. Then the third upgrade is the design of the glitter cup itself. This year, instead of an open cup like this that spins all the glitter out in one shot, we have a two chambered cup like this, which means we get to fire the glitter three separate times. So the way it works is you pour glitter in the top chamber here and it fills up both chambers. And when the cup spins, the glitter in the lower chamber flies up and out the sides, but the glitter in the upper chamber is trapped due to the centrifugal force. Then when the cup stops spinning, gravity basically loads the next batch of glitter in the lower chamber for us. And so now of course it's ready to fly out on the next spin and so on. This totally passive solution means we get to save one of our three glitter fires this year for when we get to the end of the out loud countdown sequence. Now of course you'll still see the standard four phones here that record the thief in all directions and upload the footage to the cloud, as well as these four canisters filled with 20% more fart spray of legitimately the worst smell you could possibly imagine, as demonstrated by the time I almost killed Macaulay Culkin himself. <laughs> I still smell it. The fourth upgrade is we have a dedicated onboard microphone to record continuous audio once the package is stolen. And the fifth is this outer casing is now made from this opaque machined acrylic. That means the entire glitter bomb now glows much brighter to light up the scene if it's open in the dark. And it just looks really dope when the whole box pulses red and blue as we play the fake police scanner chatter a few minutes after being opened to further encourage the thief to get rid of the box so we can recover it. And then the final upgrade for this year isn't actually on the glitter bomb itself. Last year we developed these doormats that would covertly charge the box on these contacts so it would be at full battery whenever it got stolen. And that was fantastic, but a lot of boxes were being taken at night, which was leading to footage that just wasn't that great. So to solve for that this year, we designed these planner boxes and when the sun goes down, the side raises up and they autonomously slide over to swallow up the glitter bomb, concealing it from any would-be thieves in the night without the homeowner needing to hassle with bringing it in and out every day. Then of course in the morning, the process reverses and the box is ready to go. So now when the bad guy comes sneaking by in the day and steals it off the porch, the batteries are all at 100% charge and the box knows it's no longer on the mat so it starts recording and uploading footage to the cloud in addition to texting us that it's been stolen and sending GPS location updates. And so if you compare Glitter Bomb 1.0 through 4.0, you can really see the design evolution. And while my lawyers have already made it very clear that I am not allowed to sell this, if I did, it might look something like this. Glitter Bomb 4.0 is our most advanced glitter bomb ever. Beautiful, complex, yet simple. A sleek and porch informed design now includes a car horn from a Toyota Corolla and 20% more fart spray. A completely redesigned multi spray glitter cup 
with a pound of our finest biodegradable glitter means your porch pirate will remember this moment for a very long time, but especially in direct sunlight. Oh, and there is one more thing. Introducing the world's first self-launching lid. Glitter Bomb 4.0 Because sometimes revenge is a dish best served fabulously. So there it is. And while you can't buy Glitter Bomb 4.0, if you want to support more efforts like this, you can rock this stylish wireframe Glitter Bomb hoodie here. Or we've also got this cool retro pop art version for 4.0 with the boxing gloves, available of course only at markrover.com. And so now all that was left to do was to put it out on porches all across America and wait. And we didn't have to wait long. Wait a sec, is that who I think it is? And sure enough, Fort Nuts had run out of walnuts, so instead of trying to make an honest squirrel's living, Fat Gus had apparently turned to a life of crime. And speaking of which, I'd like to quickly point out that whether squirrels are stealing your bird seeds so you build them an obstacle course, or humans are stealing your packages so you go full home alone, the beauty about being an engineer is you can come up with clever solutions for your real life challenges. It's like a superpower, but a superpower you can learn. And I'd love to see other people catch that spark, which is why a few times a year, I teach a month long creative engineering course and enrollment for the new year session is open starting right now. Over the course of a month, you're gonna watch me design and create three builds from scratch. But the best part is I'm gonna guide you through finishing three creative builds of your own. So whether you're a complete beginner or an experienced engineer, the class has been designed to meet you wherever you're at and level up your skills. So go to monthly.com slash Mark Rover or the link in the video description, then go sign up as a New Year's resolution goal, and let's hang out making some cool stuff. And now for the sparkly karma. So he hides it under some clothes, and a few minutes later, he brings in a consultant. It's a tracking device. Where no, 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 no. Who's this? Can you smell that? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? award for our most contemplative thief ever. I've sped this footage up to double time. So we have to make up his mind with a third round of glitter, fart spray, and then the countdown. Fifteen. Fourteen. And as if stealing a glitter bomb wasn't a bad enough choice already, this guy doubles down and decides to open it in his car. And it's worth mentioning, of course, we have to make multiple glitter bombs because sometimes they do take a beating. <laughs> and yet they battle through the pain like champs.
And they're referring to our dead giveaway shipping label here with Harry and Marv on Wet Bandit Way. I feel bad, but I really want to open <laughs> And apparently they landed heads, because a few hours later, this happened. This guy stole it and took it straight to a pawn shop to try and negotiate a deal. Five No, that's totally fine. No, give me one more hundred, then we're good. No. One more hundred, this is brand new, come on. The, the wrapping looks kind of weird. Bro. No, that's 2021. Let's yeah. open it and see if it's just in there first. One more hundred, One more hundred, Open it? Yeah, go ahead. And this one's hilarious to me, because if he wouldn't have got greedy, he could have walked out of there with 400 bucks. And instead, he gets zero dollars and a bedazzled jacket. Oh my god. Did you see here that? Back down. Really? It's kind of more comes out. Oh, it's like Trick. I'll fool you. Ow! Oh, stinks! Move. Go throw it away. Oh, sh. It's more like. No! They eventually threw it away and then went the extra mile to help us rinse off all the glitter. Followed up with a light dusting. Last year, if you might recall, we went up to San Francisco, aka the car breaking capital of the world, and got a glitter bomb taken in a matter of minutes. And while we never got them to actually open the box, it did have an interesting conclusion. So this year, naturally, we went back, and at the end of day one, we had no takers. But then we stopped for like two minutes to get some snacks for the trip home, and when we came back to the car, we saw this. They took the backpack with the GoPros, but left the freaking glitter bomb. So now it was definitely on. So we went back to that exact spot the next day, and within 10 minutes, this happened. And you can see here just how quickly they work. You can literally hear them doing another smash and grab here, not four minutes after they smashed our window. Come on, come on, come on, come on! And unfortunately, in all the jostling of stolen goods, the glitter bomb had a false trigger. And they were on to us. So if you keep a track at home, that's car thieves with three points and me with zero without a single ounce of glitter being fired. Now, I'm not proud of that, but there is a silver lining here because the police rolled up on us after this break-in and let's just say they are both familiar with and fans of 
the work being done here. In fact, they were actually tracking the guys that smashed our window, but then they lost them. So next year, I'll be joining forces with them in some capacity, and I'm giving a Mark Rober guarantee that I'm gonna get some points on the board and perhaps uncover how these guys run their whole operation in the process. So make sure you're subscribed if you don't wanna miss that. But it wasn't just the police who'd heard about the glitter bomb this year. Just like before, we also put some glitter bombs by a few group mailboxes, and I'm happy to report that the overwhelming majority of people do the right thing and either don't take it or even go out of their way like this nice lady. In fact, they were stolen approximately half as often as last year, so either people are getting more honest or perhaps, I don't know. Enough people have seen these videos that it's the devastating power of glitter that's encouraging more civil behavior. And I'll just leave you with two pieces of evidence that kind of seem to support this working theory. Oh, you son of a Oh, it's one of those, uh, yes? Oh, wow. I see that on TV, man. What's it do? It's you. What the fuck? What? The glitter that he showed on TV was that sticky kind of people from taking people's stuff in the front of the house. God, right in my house. That thing has a tracer on it, too. The cops are going to be right outside. And I'm wondering if it's one of those package feed things that spread out fart and glitter. Oh, if this thing is going to start talking in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So just don't steal packages because it's not nice. But if you do need some extra incentive, just know you might be opening next year's glitter bomb. It is one of those glitter bombs, and it has part smell and everything. And trust me, you don't want to meet version 5.0.